Let's add an advanced block to our mod. Minecraft modding courses with close to 100 topics ranging from custom tools and armor to custom block entities all the way to custom mobs linked in the description below. Oh, right, we found us back in the once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom advanced block to Minecraft over here. And that is, of course, once again, going to be a block in this case with its own custom block class. This will happen in the block package. We're going to right click new package called custom. And then inside of there, we'll make a new Java class and we'll call this the sound block over here. Once again, the convention is to end the name here with block, because if you were to call this sound, that would probably not be the best idea in terms of a name. So best stick to this convention, highly recommended so that you know that this is a block. And this will, of course, extends the block class from that micro world level block over here. Tap to autocomplete and we'll hover over this create constructor matching super. And with that, once again, a custom block class has been created. But of course, no functionality, not over here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to middle mouse button click on the block and we will go down and we'll see that there are tons and tons of different things that the block offers you in terms of methods that you possibly can overwrite. So there are certain things as the use method, which we will take a look at in just a moment. By the way, the strike through over here usually means that things are deprecated. Let's take a look at that in the block behavior. So we have to go to the block and then one further down to the block behavior. And then here we have the use method. And you can see it is deprecated. However, in this instance, it doesn't matter that it's deprecated. You can overwrite this. Any deprecated method inside of the block can be overridden no issue at all. So do keep that in mind. That is a particular quirk. How Minecraft and Mojang does it, I guess, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. The reason it's deprecated is so that it's not called anywhere else, but you can override it. But for example, the use method, which is the method that is called when you right click on a block. There's also the step on method, which is called when an entity is above the block. And of course, there are plenty more. So as you can see, there's flammability methods. On remove, this is the method that gets called when this particular block is destroyed. There are a lot of Boolean methods that ask certain things. You even have things like the jump factor, even some other things. You can see some more things. There's a lot of freaking things right here. But for the time being, we shall look at the use method over here. So we're going to write this in, press tab to autocomplete, and we will do one thing, and that is we're going to play a sound when you right click this particular block. And how does that work? Well, we take the level. So we're going to say P level dot, and then we just say play sound passing in p player because we want to call this for the player we want to call this at the we want to play this at the position that this block is then we have to define a sound event so we can just say sound events dot and you can see all sound events are available here and there's a lot of them so let's just do a note block one let's do the didgeridoo i like that that's awesome and we also have to call dot get over here very important the sound source of this should probably be block and then we can already be fine or we can add two more floats and that's going to be the volume and the pitch, which you can also randomize, by the way. That is how Minecraft sometimes makes it so that the pitch of certain sounds is a little bit different every time they are played. And then here in the return, I highly suggest you return the success over here. That means that you also get a right clicking animation as well. As I've said, anything more interesting for the block, highly recommended to take a look at the block class, highly recommended to take a look at the block behavior, and also highly recommended to take a look at the iForge block interface right here, because this will add actually even more different things that you can, well, basically take a look at and overwrite here for your custom block. But of course, we still need to use this block class in our mod blocks over here. So let's just copy over the raw sapphire and let's not forget to change everything that we need to change. So this is going to be a sound block. And of course, right here as well, sound underscore block. And this is a new sound block. Very important that we don't forget to change this. In terms of the copying, I think just copying the iron block over here is absolutely okay. I'm okay with that. And then, of course, we still need the JSON files. But before we jump into those, let's actually add it to the creative mode tab as well. And then the JSON files. Well, the block model JSON file, it's it's nothing crazy. It's literally just a normal block model JSON file. I think that at this point, this should be fairly self-explanatory. And a similar thing goes for the translation, as well as the block model file, as well as the item model file. And here we go with the texture, and those should be everything that we're going to need. So let's jump into the game and hear our sound block for the first time. All right, found us back in Minecraft, and you can see the sound block has been successfully added. And if I set it down and I right click, there we go, the didgeridoo sounds well, like a didgeridoo. And that is an example of a custom advanced block.
You can, of course, always go further with this. Highly recommended to click on the block class right here. Press Control H and you will be able to see every single vanilla block that exists here. Every single vanilla block class, basically. And highly recommended to take a look at those. Now, of course, some of them might be quite complicated. Where, once again, some Java knowledge is definitely required. But still, you have everything available to you. So that is also a great resource to keep in mind. But that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time, we will fill our bellies with a custom food item right here. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.